Welcome everybody to That Knacks, the podcast about the band The Knack. <laughs> Nick, take us back to that fateful day in 1979 when they released My Sharona. What? You know this song, uh, right? I don't think so. Really? My Sharona. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, I knew you knew it. I'm proud of you. I wasn't around for that, so. Oh, neither was I. <laughs> you act like I was born in 1979. That was years before I was born. It was not that a long. A mere three years yeah. before I was born. Uh, yeah, that's that's a good one. Yeah. You came up with that one very quickly. I, I had to go pee real quick, and I was like thinking of words. I was like, neck. Oh, the neck. <laughs> that's just a it. random word that popped into It's the head. only song that they ever had. And they kept breaking up and reforming and breaking up and reforming. Did they continue to put out hits like, way after that no just my Sharona one hit one that's it yeah <laughs> from what I could tell it was a quick Wikipedia read but no. I don't, you know correct me if I'm wrong any my Sharona the knack fans out there they're like big fans they have like t-shirts yeah <laughs> you know there was a guy at Publix the other day Jackson was wearing a Nirvana shirt and he's like I like his shirt <laughs> he's wearing a Panther shirt and I was like oh look at you Panthers like Panther the band the band yeah uh, my brain or Pantera be... maybe I don't know Panthers my brain goes to sports team yeah I'm tired today. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I'm sick. Yeah, You guys we, can hear it in my voice. Yeah, we're both a little bit on the struggle bus. I've had a great couple of days, though. I um, was working with Undercover Tourists this week, and Monday we checked into... We do these things with work called frog hops. Um, you guys have to hop or you have to like leapfrog around <laughs> the park? <laughs> the whole time. It's pretty fun. <laughs> One attraction to the next. No, we do these things where we host content creators um at both universal and disney and it's just fun it's like we we pack the days full of fun activities um and then um it's just a cool opportunity to work with our like our company as partners with disney and universal so you know, it, like playing pinochle all day <laughs> super fun stuff no we did a lot of fun things though we um monday night we had like kind of like a we went bowling at cabana bay oh yeah it's a good time yeah very cool cabana, jack lanes yeah cabana bay beach resort is awesome it's very like retro themed yeah um, with the views from cabana bay are beautiful if you can get a like um volcano bay yeah tower room yeah i was gonna say water park but that's not technically a water park it's a water theme park yeah that's yeah. what they call it right 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 um it's it's essentially a water park. it's a water park <laughs> <laughs> but they're it really a roller cool. coaster yeah right? there's cool a attractions. water coaster right right right. Yeah. jackson wants to ride it when we told him because we were at where were we at oh we went to Deezerland to the all pink car show oh Super fun. Every it's car is Deezerland. Pink. Deezerland? You don't know Deezerland? Mm-mm. Do you know where uh, Bath Pro Shop is? What was that? Festival Bay? It used to be called Festival Bay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like... There used to be like a skating rink over there or something? Maybe. Oh. There used to be a lot of stuff. Like there. iDrive? Yeah, it's iDrive. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of like... But it's like universal side of iDrive. Yeah, yeah. So there's a... um, There's like a movie theater in there. There's glow in the dark golf. There's oh, go-karts yeah. inside. There's And there's a car museum inside too. So that's oh. why he does all these like car shows. Oh, and whatever, a few days ago, was National Pink Day. Oh. So they had an all-pink car show. Every car there was pink. That's really cool. It was awesome. I'm excited to see um, the pink car from High School Musical at D23 this year. Is it going to be there? I think so, because Sh- they like... Sh- what? Sh- Chanel Sharpe? Yeah, good job. You got it. Is that is that who it is? Sharpe. She's from High School Musical? It yeah. was there. It was that Mazda Miata, right? It was there la- the two years ago? Yeah. It wasn't two years ago, I guess. Was it was it like... by the plane. Yeah, two years ago. It's um, Sharpe. I didn't go. It's... Oh, yeah, you weren't there. I mean, I was at D23, but I didn't go you to didn't the plane. You go over to the plane, yeah. so you missed out on your childhood dream of seeing a pink Mazda Miata. <laughs> or was it like a S2000 or something? I don't know what it was. It looked like I have no all idea. these cars look the same. I don't know what type of car it was. Yeah. It was just yeah. Sharpay's car. Um, but I did take a picture of a Mac- McLaren the other day to show it to you. Yeah, was it orange? No. no. I did find out that that's an F1 thing. So, like, oh, for the McLaren F1. has an F1 team, and that orange color is like very prevalent in the f1 team and i don't watch f1 so i didn't relate mclaren to f1 orange. being racing yeah f1 racing yeah. yeah okay that makes sense yeah that's why i associate it that way yeah because that's why they're you branding. love f1 <laughs> that's your thing right look at jackson next to his pink jeep oh that's very cool yeah it's a good time i love All it right, sorry i'm not showing it to the to the camera but um <laughs> i don't know we were going somewhere and now i don't remember where is, where that, we were. that white one right there that's oh, the mclaren nice. Um, we were somewhere and I can't get back to it. <laughs> we were talking about, it was pink cars. No, it was long before that. Oh, my, my time at Universal. Oh, the whole reason, cause I said we were over there and I saw, we saw Krakatau mm, yeah. and you could see, 
uh, the mountain from where we were at. And Jackson's like, I want to go on that because we said it was a water roller coaster. Got it, got it. But I don't know what the height limit is. I have no idea. I, fun fact, I have never been to Volcano Bay. Oh, it's super good. I know. I really want to boys get, would love the area. I think they would have a blast, and I think we're going to try to go soon. Um, you should. So we were at Universal, and... Um, they should have a frog hop. <laughs> so Friday night, a tadpole hop, maybe, for kids. You know, I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but I was saying, like, you guys should go to Volcano Bay. Well, so Monday night, we had bowling at Cabana Bay Beach Resort, and then we went from there to Volcano Bay. So I technically went into the park, but I didn't like, we didn't get to do anything because the park was closed. Okay. We just had sort of like a reception. They kept one of the bars open for us. And then like the content creators got to like take pictures down by the water, the wave pool, which I did see the waves in that wave pool. Yeah. They are far less, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Angry? Yeah. Than Typhoon Lagoon's waves. 42 inches. Totally go on this. Crack a towel. There you go. Yeah. Would Jackson do all those things? He says he would. Yeah. So. We should all go together. Yeah. That'd be a fun day. Yeah. We also got to tour the cabanas, which were so nice. Yeah. Some of their cabanas there are, are beautiful. Yeah. Um, we did a, we did a video on a cabana one time. Did you? It was very nice. Yeah. So that was fun. That was a really cool experience. And then yesterday, we're recording this on Wednesday. Um, yesterday being Tuesday, we literally um, we hopped all day long. We started at 7.45 in the morning Oof. and didn't get back to my room till 10.45 p.m. Oof. It was full of all kinds of fun activities, did VIP stuff. Um, it was fun. It was a great time. You guys went backstage at any point? We went to the bottom floor of Men in Black. Okay, super fun. Was fun. Yeah, so cool to be down there. Did you see on the like employee board somebody put up a for sale Halcyon? No. Yeah. My tour guide, one of our tour guides knew you. What was their name? David. Okay. Yeah, he's a really cool guy. Yeah. He's been doing it for like 16 years. Yeah. Um, He said, he actually told me, tell Tim that the entire VIP tour guide department says hello. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello. <laughs> How you guys doing? You guys are doing great. I'm very proud of you. I enjoy your tours. Yeah. They did it. They do such a great job. I love we'll it. We'll see you guys in Halloween time. Yeah, yeah. I told him, I was like, he'll be over here soon for Horror Nights type stuff. Yeah. And I said, he's trying to convince me to come with him. I do think unmasking the tour would be a good time. Yeah. Unmasking the tour. Unmasking, unmasking the, the horror, horror <laughs> tour. Um, unmasking the tour. <laughs> Welcome to unmasking the tour. Appeal behind the tours of Universal. Yeah. Um, but I did get to ride Hagrid's twice yesterday. Yeah. So What's the height limit? Got to, I told I saw a billboard for it and I was like, oh, Jackson, let's go. I don't know. I don't remember. Now I'm like all in for Jackson riding you know, coasters. Ethan's not tall enough for Hagrid's. Ooh. So I don't okay. know that Jackson would be either. They're right. probably about the same height. Let's see here. Skull Island, Velocicoaster, Forbidden Journey. Hagrid's. Here we go. 75 minute wait right now. Oh my gosh. 48. Okay. It's pretty tall. Yeah. Yeah. Can't ride that yet. Luke loves Hagrid's. It's because of the, the ride vehicles on Hagrid's are like. Yeah. You need extra long legs for those. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think the first time that he rides and if at this point Hagrid's has been around long enough. I think it just celebrated its like five year anniversary. Mm. But but if if you have never ridden Hagrid's. Do not spoil it for yourself. I that's my opinion. Like, yeah. don't go r watch like ride POVs of it. Yeah, there's some surprises in there. Yeah, yeah, and I had not like the first time that I wrote it, I didn't know anything about it, and yeah. I was I was shocked by some of the things that there happened. was. Like, I always spoil myself because I know what's happening, but when one element happened, I was surprised by how quickly they could make it happen. Yeah, I think I know which element you're talking yeah. about. It's so much fun. Yeah, it's really good. It's one of the best rides in Orlando. And I'm kind of glad that it's a 48-inch because I think that Jackson's not ready for it now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah. There's yeah. one element that... Would be intimidating. He would not like. There, If you're trying to avoid spoilers, I'm going to say something right now, so just skip ahead for a few seconds. Like 15, 20 seconds. Yeah. It, backwards motion is really getting to me. Okay. Yeah, that's not what I was thinking. No, you're thinking of the drop. The drop track. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, yeah. he doesn't like it on Rise of the Resistance. Yeah. And it, it is, it comes out of nowhere. Like you don't really expect <clears throat> it. Right. But it is so good. Yeah. It's really good. But I'm telling you, backwards motion is really starting to get to me. Mm. Yeah. I'm getting old. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. We'll done with, we're done with the spoilers. I'll I'm tell you this. Time. You can tell what we were talking about because we went, Jen and I, before kids, like we were still a young whippersnapper like you. <laughs> And we went I don't to. Think I'm a young person. Yeah, you are. You're still a young. I have a seven and five year old. I'm tired. So, oh, I thought you were like 
I'm a seven and five year old. And I was like, what does that even mean? Like seven plus five. I give it a five out of seven. Um, but we went to, there used to be this place called Flea World. Oh, geez. Right? Sounds like a great time. It was awesome. Flea World was amazing. It was a flea market. And then they also had like a place attached to it that had like carnival rides. Oh, fun. And we went on, is the Tilt a Whirl the one that like is a, a whip ride? I don't know. I'm not as well rehearsed in carnival rides. Yeah, so it's the one that you would sit in, and it would like it would spin here, but then also the carts would spin. Ah, uh, yes. You know what I'm talking? About? I think that's the tilt a whirl. I don't know what it's called, but I know what you're talking about. But like we got off of that, and both of us had to like sit for like yeah, thirty minutes with our heads down on I, a picnic bench. I feel that after riding Hagrid's, and I also you know what ride doesn't really do that to me. It, it probably should. Guardians. Velocicoaster. Oh, doesn't go backwards. No, but. <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh, spoiler Hagrid's I mean uh, uh, Guardians will do that to me okay yeah um, but it Velocicoaster will? I don't feel oh. any sort of motion sickness from Velocicoaster okay I just feel like 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 you're this, gonna fall out yeah I haven't been drinking caffeine still on that journey and I've been doing well with it but this morning so this morning we had breakfast um, in Hogsmeade and we mm-hmm. they like blocked off a part of um uh, three broomsticks for us oh, yeah. and gave us like a traditional English breakfast, which was pretty cool. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Some beans. I didn't eat them. I can't eat beans. So then uh, I didn't even really have traditional You just English had a breakfast. breakfast. I didn't even have the, what is it, like blood sausage or something? Yeah. I didn't even have that. I literally just had like sausage and eggs and potatoes. <laughs> you just had a normal breakfast. <laughs> yeah. You I had did. a traditional With a breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um, um, I, don't, I don't even remember where I was going. Did you that. use some HP sauce? No. <sighs> didn't have anything the either. croissants were delicious there you go and ham they had ham that's not ah, i mean that's ham. part of breakfast could be part of what's breakfast. your favorite breakfast food waffles yeah i love waffles so in the good. morning i'm making waffles i make um, a waffle every day i like waffles but i would prefer savory over sweet you know what jackson's been doing huh. i don't know why but one day so you got you all know how this works like kids will go through phases they're like i love waffles only eat waffles and then one day they're like no and you've already made the waffle and you're like all right well what do you want he's like i want we found these pancake puffs they're like little oh, tiny yeah. circles yeah and he's like all right these are great let's have these every day he eat them every day and then one day he's like no <laughs> he's like i want regular pancakes and i was like all right well so i'll make you regular pancakes i'm making regular pancakes that's where we're at it right now i'm making three pancakes every single day that is so complicated that is it's dedication. Not, it's not that bad there's a pancake mix you just do water and pancake mix and then you <laughs> It's like Hook the it cleanup that comes with it, though. Uh, it's <laughs> the same as cleaning up after dinner. I'm proud of you. Well, thank you. My kids would be like, here's some cereal. <laughs> no, he won't eat cereal. He was eating cereal every day. <laughs> then he just stopped. Yeah, that's dedication. I'm proud of you for that. I um, I, I would prefer waffles over pancakes. Yeah, me too. And French toast. All right. Kiss, marry, kill. Pancakes, waffles, French toast. That exact order. Pancakes, waffles, French toast. You would marry the f- waffles. marry the waffles. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, oh. <laughs> and me and waffles are going to go to Bali on a honeymoon. I would be in the long game with the waffles as well. Yeah, the the French toast is yeah. See ya. It's been real. That's fine. I'll eat it occasionally, but yeah. Like, and I, I like I enjoy I like French pancakes. toast sticks. Those are good. Yeah, like like from the freezer. Yeah, yeah. Those are great. <laughs> I don't feel like they constitutes. It's like real French toast. It's not. It's some sort of other <laughs> conglomerate of food item. I like uh, chocolate chip pancakes from First Watch. I mm. think those are... I love First Watch pancakes in general. Mm. They have some of my favorite pancakes. They're like large. Yeah. I love like a... Greasy. Mul- uh, are they? Yeah. I like like a multi-grain pancake. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Um... But I would rather have waffles all day. Mickey waffles, delicious. I've never had the cinnamon, the churro Mickey waffles. Oh, man. Some controversy on our cruise. You guys oh. should have already seen it because Jen's working on our last lighthouse. And then the next day we had a day at sea. Um, that was the churro waffle. I got a couple and they weren't cooked all the way. Oh, no. Yeah, it was like Don't still we? batter on them. No, it was like flowing on the inside. Oh, no. It was like a molten lava cake. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. Um, I showed it to the guy and he's like, oh, uh, yeah. Get, where at? And I was that. Like, the, over there. He's like, ah, ran off. Yeah. I'm sure they took that serious for sure. Yeah. Um, does that, do they have those on every ship? I don't know. The reason Good I ask question. is because by the time this episode drops, 
uh, will be disembarking from the Disney magic. I think it's just the fantasy. <sighs> Sad. Because the fantasy also only has the, the ham and cheese croissants. So oh. Here's my thing. I'm going into the magic with like... I'll have to look. I don't want to say low expectations. Because oh, you got to have high expectations for the magic. Really? Yeah. I love... It's going to be... It's Disney Cruise Line, so everything is incredible and it's going to be amazing. But I, I've done the wish and I've done the dream. So I'm going to the magic knowing that it's the oldest ship and having the expectation that like... I don't know. It's not like... People love... The, the magic. magic. Really? They love the smaller ships. You've never been on it? Yeah, I've been on all of them. Oh. Yeah. Do, well, where do you... I've been on the fantasy the most. We like the fantasy. Yeah, that's like your favorite. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the magic? I mean, it's good. It's yeah. smaller. It's but been see, a long that's, time that's, since that's, I've been on everybody's it. Everybody's so. reaction is always... Well, so like... It's good. On the fantasy, there's multiple... Like, Jax can ride the aqua duck. Right. On the fantasy. Right. He's not tall enough to ride the aqua dunk. Yeah, but that's like on one of magic. those ones where you like stand it's and a drop, drop slide. Yeah. Not doing that. Super short. I'm not doing you it. You should do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> that intimidation factor stresses me out. Okay, let's see here. You know which one I would never do? What? The one at Volcano Bay. I watched people from my room do that. I don't yeah. understand it. What also stresses me out is you go down the slide, but then you like, you get dropped. So you're standing on a platform, the platform opens and you fall and you slide down. But then you, that tube goes next to the pool. People can like sit over that tube and watch you. Yeah. No, I don't want that. That feels like so claustrophobic. What if you get stuck? You're not. Have you seen the people go through <laughs> yeah, there? They're no, going they, through it like 900 miles an hour. Like, they, they, they fly through there. Yeah. Talk uh, amongst yourself. I got to finish reading this one paragraph. Talk amongst myself. <laughs> like with my friends over here. <laughs> this is. I do think that the. the um, one of the side effects from these slides have to be like serious wedgie problems. Like I don't, I'm just not interested, but I am, I'm very excited to go on to the magic. I think that, um, we'll have a great time. We have massages booked. Oh yeah. But I also can't decide, do we want to do the massage? It's a couple's massage. Or would we rather have passes to the rainforest room? So I'm in the minority here. Okay. I don't care about the rainforest room. Really? Yeah. I've done it. It was fine. What is special about the rainforest room? If you want to relax, well, yeah, it's a place to go. There's like interesting. So like, there's like these chase lounges, chaise lounges in there yeah. that are like heated. They're like made of tile. Yeah, and you yeah. Can lay on them and get like a little like heated up. And then they've got these like waterfall showers, and each one has like a. There's three of them, right? And each one does a different type of. One's hot, one's cold, one's just right. Okay. And there's a dry sauna, a wet sauna, is and there, then there's a spa. Or like a, I'm, a hot sorry. tub. Yeah. yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. And it like looks out over the ocean, but like other people are in there too. There's yeah. another hot tub over in the, at least in the fantasy, there's another hot tub over in the like adult section that you could get the same experience at. Right. And then you're paying just to like sit in a hot tub with other people. Yeah. And it's like quieter back there. Yeah. So I don't know. You would pick the massage? I'd pick the massage. Okay. That's my jam. But should, is, Yeah. It's not so much the fact that like I, I feel the need to get a massage on the Disney cruise because I could get a massage back home. Yep. It's the fact that like we are Francie and I are on a trip together by ourselves. So what other time and opportunity is there for us to spend an hour getting a massage? Right. You know, right. like we don't have to worry about babysitting at that point. Right. So it's like, why not? It's our time is our own. That's true. We're also eating at Palo for brunch and I cannot wait. I'm excited about that. I so I like Palo on the Magic because it's the entire back of the ship. Whereas like on the Fantasy and the Dream, it's Palo and Remy. Oh, so like you the, get one one side of the ship or the other side of the ship. Got it. You can see, and you get Meridian in between. But like Palo on the Magic is the back of the ship because there's get, no Remy. Yeah, there's no Remy. It's yeah. just that's the only restaurant back there. Yeah, it's I'm really more looking well lit in my opinion. I've never done um, like additional dining on the Disney cruise. Before. It's good. It's really delicious. I'm looking forward to that. And then so. <clears throat> It's a four night cruise. So this is one of my questions and I might as well ask it here because it'd be good information for anybody listening. Yes. We will go to the three restaurants. Yes. But then the fourth night, not necessarily the fourth night, but one of the nights will be a repeat at one of the restaurants. Yeah. But it would probably be pirate night. Right? Yeah. And the menu will be like pirate, pirate themed. Yeah. Pirate okay. food. That's I'm asking that question because I've never done a four night cruise. Oh, I've yeah. done three nights. Yeah, yeah, and three nights you still get pirate night, but, but you don't get the pirate food. Right. Okay, that's the same on all Disney cruises. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good well, like 
we just did a seven night and that'll do one pirate night right and then each uh, two nights at each restaurant and you get a formal night yeah but we don't have a formal night i'm sure you still do oh really it's just like people dress up i'm not dressing you don't have to no. <laughs> you meet the captain go out there and say hey like even pirate on? night i'm wearing a t-shirt yeah it's all good i know i, I it, it is nice to kind of like uh, dress a little nicer for dinner on a cruise yeah I'm wearing polos the rest tell of you the what time. is nice about the magic you get a dinner show oh right because it's tangled yeah yeah sort of similar to um frozen on the wish yeah yeah but like the fantasy your show is like uh, our, uh artist palette yeah which i'm i will be at artist palette one night too i think right yeah we have that on the magic yeah that's one of my favorite dining experiences Do they have artist palette on the dream i think yeah, yeah. yeah. dream and the fantasy yeah and the magic yeah yeah i think so i think i think we have that one night i think it's tangled artist palette and and it's always some like blue mirrors yeah something random that like they're steaming but it's not overly yeah it's blue themed. yeah it's like the one that's in the atrium yeah yeah. yeah, I'm remembering things. It's been a while since I've like, you know, before the pandemic. Well, on the magic, I'll come back and report on like everything from the cruise for sure. Yeah. Um. So so yeah. So that is happening. I we leave tomorrow. We're gonna wake up early Boat. and drive to. Yeah. Pikachu. I gotta go home and unpack and then repack and yeah. then wake up early and drive to Fort Lauderdale. We talked about driving it tonight, but why don't you take this? The it speed doesn't train. make sense for us. We live in Lakeland, which is more oh, centrally yeah. located, and so. By the time we drove to Orlando, it, that would be like, we would be gotcha. halfway towards Fort Lauderdale by then. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're just like driving straight down. Yep. Gotcha. 75. Yeah. Okay. Well, we, we cut through. Oh. Okay. We get on 75 eventually. Actually, we'll be on 27. The, we'll be on the turnpike. We get on the turnpike at, um, it's a place called Yeehaw Junction. Yeehaw Junction. <laughs> Heck yeah. Um, so, but I've driven down there plenty. I drive down there a lot during the fall for... Sports. Yeah. <laughs> Sports. <laughs> so it'll be fun. I'm excited. I'm excited to see that port. Never seen that port before. Only done Port Canaveral. It'll be new too. They finished it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm excited to see what that's like. Um, and I'll come back and talk about all of it. I literally get back at the day that this episode drops. Oh. But then oh, we will have... You missed Tiana's. I did. Mm. But I need your help with that. <laughs> and you see... Speaking... All right. It, we're getting into it. Yeah. It's happening. That's fine. News. Uh, <laughs> the beignets are already available. What? Yeah. Ooh. They started, it came out yesterday. They did the, the re- refresh on the, the menu at Golden Oak Outpost and the refresh at the menu at Sleepy Hollow. People are mad about Sleepy Hollow. Why? Because they changed the chicken and mm. they changed the uh, the uh, strawberry. They got rid of one. the waffle with those things? Yeah. <gasps> no, it's still... Well, okay. Hold on. I got to look it up. Because like, there still is a chicken, but it's like different. They yeah. changed the menu. It's different. Completely different because... Yeah, of, people are like... Yeah, because... Somebody sent me... People are very, like... They're very serious about their, their love for yeah, Sleepy Hollow. This. Like, they're up in <laughs> the, the stairway to heaven. <laughs> yeah, that is, like, an iconic treat for a lot of people. So, let's see here. So, now, we've got a Mickey waffle with chocolate and hazelnut spread... With chocolate hazelnut spread and bananas. Sounds good. Yeah. Funnel cake with chocolate hazelnut spread and bananas. Sweet and spicy maple chicken, mm. and that is um, still on a waffle, but it's a Mickey waffle now, and it's opposed to like so that folding a, waffle. It's not, it's not a, a sandwich. sandwich. Yeah. Oh man, people are going to be so upset about. And that. there's berries and powdered sugar, so it's like it's it's a different waffle now. Yeah, but it's still like sort of the same menu, right? Yeah, but people were like dedicated to those waffles. I bet people will comment on this video saying they miss it. Yeah. And I understand. It's sad when things go away that you love. Yeah. But the full menu is at Golden Oak. So like the the hot honey chicken is there oh, and then man. whatever the other thing was. Like the, it was like a I now feel the need to stop at Magic Kingdom on my way home. <laughs> yeah. I mean. It's not a quick trip. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. <laughs> but you can do it. I believe no, in you. I don't think go I'm home, I want to go home. <laughs> get some beignets no. and then. I need to go home. I will be back at Walt Disney World after the cruise, not long after the cruise. And we'll be seeing each other at some point yeah. after the cruise. Yeah, yeah. Um, And so maybe the next episode that we release will be filmed in a different location. TBD. Ooh. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. More on that later. I mean, I'm sure it will be, but yeah. <laughs> um, um, that's exciting. But yeah, we do. I have a very, I've already been in a very busy travel season and it, it's going to continue to be a very busy travel yeah. season. I won't be home until the middle of July. 
Jeez. That's what it feels like. I will be home, but anyways um I'll be home for july <laughs> for christmas in july <laughs> oh, yeah christmas in july what is it we're halfway to christmas yeah we are so we'll get into that halfway to holidays we got to talk about that but let's finish talking about tiana's so the food is there so i was waiting for tim to get back from the cruise to talk more about tiana's and we ended up not talking about it last week honestly last week we talked for a long time and then we got to the end where we looked at the clock and we were like we gotta go yeah <laughs> so it's that, like it's that's just what happens sometimes. yeah but I did want to talk about Tiana's Bayou Adventure because we wrote it together for the first time. Yeah. That was an adventure. We've talked about that on social media at this point. Three and a half hours. <laughs> and then they just started letting people on right after they kicked us out of line. We were, were like, What's we, going on here? We were very blessed to be invited out by a cast member, and it was so awesome. Huge thank you to that cast member for inviting us out. Um, and it was cool, but then we didn't get to ride it, or so we thought. And yeah. we ended up getting to ride it. Yeah. So that was a great day. It was fun to be able to um, experience that together. We were elated when we finally got onto that attraction, yeah. which I think is why, like, when we got off, we were so like, that was the greatest thing ever because there was so much anticipation leading up yeah. to it. But then I rode it again and it was still really good. I was going to say, but I will say that I've now ridden it. I have ridden it nine times. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. Flex. But... I've ridden it three. <laughs> Still a lot. It's fantastic. Yeah. But like it's not even open yet. Yeah. Well, now technically when you're listening. When you guys to this, listen to this, it'll be open. The reason I've been able to ride it so many times is because I got to go to the D twenty three event and I rode it seven times at that event. Wow. Seven times. And that was so cool because every time I noticed new things. Yeah. Like and also getting to ride it at night. They also added stuff. Yeah. They added some candles and like beads outside of like Mama Odie's door at one point in the attraction. Um and getting to ride it at night is such a cool experience because when you do the lift, and this is this was similar to Splash Mountain, when you do the lift and it's dark, there's not that light coming in at the top of the lift. Yeah, it's like the 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 special effects that happen during that lift, and then even the lighting at the top where you're with Mama Odie and her bottles are hanging down, all of that looks so good. It is fantastic. And then when you when you first start the attraction and you go kind of like around the corner and see more of the bayou yeah the lighting out there looks phenomenal the fireflies and the bushes look incredible it is it's beautiful i gotta do this i gotta ride it at night yeah you do need to um we're gonna try to ride it we'll be around disney the week of the fourth and we're gonna try to go one night and ride it during that week but um that'll be interesting to see how that works because it'll still be a virtual queue i believe we don't really know they said that there yeah. would be a virtual queue at the beginning, but then it would change eventually. So, so the other thing is, well, let's finish the honest. Okay, we'll get into All that. Right. We have that like leads right into it. We have a lot to talk about. We've led into two potential conversations so far. We've yeah. got to talk about the holidays at Disney, and we've got a lot to talk about with Lightning Lanes. Yeah. Um. But anyways, Tiana's our thoughts. I, I think both of us agree. Like, it's good. Yeah. It's really good. We love it. It's yeah. so much fun. And a lot of stuff to see. A lot of stuff to look at. A lot of little hidden things. Yeah. Did I, I sent you the video the, of the Mickey Beignet? You sent me a photo of it, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. good. I never noticed that. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I well, love you it. noticed that sort of stuff after writing it seven times. <laughs> Thankfully, someone pointed that out to me. Oh. <laughs> but I would not I would not have noticed it, and, and now knowing it, I look at it every time. Yeah. It's it's easy to miss it because your eyes are drawn to another Everything scene. else. Yeah, <laughs> there's Literally so much happening. everything else. It's in the finale, so... Um, yeah, just phenomenal attraction. We're very we're very excited about it. I'm so proud of the Imagineers for it. I do think like I'm nervous for opening day. Like I hope that they don't experience a lot of downtime just cuz I think that like if it, I hope that if you're listening to this podcast, you are you are not one of the people that just go bonkers on a cast member for not getting to ride a ride because right. it is nobody's fault. It is it it we were saying this even when we waited three and a half hours to try to ride and then didn't think we were going to. They all wanted us to ride. Yeah. Like, they're excited about it. They're, like, pumped about the attraction opening. Nobody is sitting there being like, ha ha, like it didn't work out. Get these people out of here. It didn't work out for Nobody you. Nobody wants you to ride. Right. No, they wanted it to happen. It's just they're, they're putting yeah. safety first, thankfully. And yeah. so uh, it just doesn't always work out that way. Also, side note, that just reminded me. Yesterday, I got evac'd for the first time off a ride at Universal. What ride? Uh, Spider Man. Oh, it's a great, that's a time. fun one. It was really fun to walk through there because you get to like walk through the scenes. Yeah, and they look three D normally, but when you don't have the three D glasses on, you're like, oh, this is interesting. 
And I was, we were always lower to the ground than I anticipated. I, 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 there's a scene in Spider-Man where you're like falling off the building. Yeah. I thought we were high up. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Just on the ground. The only thing that happens is Transformers. Yeah. Because Transformers is two levels. Okay. Do you know that? There's two elevators in there? No, I didn't. But yeah. that makes sense. That building, well, Spider-Man's a big building too. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Um, so Tiana's is great. Love it. Love, but so blessed and thankful that I've been able to ride it so many times. Yeah. And the queue is fantastic. Take it. It's hard because you can't always take your time going through the queue. I imagine that if you ride it soon, you will be taking your time going through. But enjoy that because there's so many details. Yeah, there really is. It's uh, good. So, Lightning Lane. Lightning Lane. Yeah. Big so changes. You mentioned that you're not sure when Tiana's is coming off virtual queue. We know for a fact that Tiana's will be off of virtual queue by July 24th. We don't, though. We do, because it's one of the things that you can choose for your lightning lane. Yeah, but that but you could always get your All lightning. All virtual queues are individual lightning lanes currently, correct? No. Virtual queues are standby lines. Like, you, can, you enter the standby line with your virtual queue. No, no. Any ride right now that has a virtual queue, you have to purchase an individual lightning lane to get a lightning lane, right? No, uh, to get a lightning lane, yes. Right. But you also have to get a virtual queue in order to enter the standby line. Correct. So Tiana still could utilize the virtual queue system. It could still, Same but... Same with Tron and Guardians of the Galaxy. But Tron is, what do they call it? They're not calling it an individual lightning lane anymore. They're calling it a single use, right. single, single pass. Yeah, but lightning bear lane. with us too, because this is like brand new information as of yesterday. We have read up on it, but like it's it is... It's constantly confusing. <laughs> All right. So here's what it is. From now on, Genie Plus, which is the way that you buy your lightning lane. Right. Is not called Genie Plus anymore. Right. Well, I take that back. For not from now on. From J- July 24th on. Right. It'll be called Lightning Lane Multipass. Correct. Or Lightning Lane Single Pass. Correct. Lightning Lane Single Pass is what is currently called Individual Lightning Lane. Correct. So that would be Seven Doors Mine Train, Tron, uh, Guardians. What's the one in Rise of the Resistance? Rise of the Resistance. Yeah, I don't think there are any in Animal Kingdom. None in Animal Kingdom. No, and there won't be. Well, uh, wait. Is is Flight, uh, of, Flight of Passage an individual? I'm not line? sure, but I know for a fact that s- starting July 24th, there will be no single. So that's what there. There's my answer. To my question is: All individual lightning lanes are virtual queues because Rise of the Resistance isn't. Correct. Okay, so I was wrong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Rise no longer needs a virtual queue. So you or still not Rise the Resistance, uh, Flight of Passage. Correct. So both. Correct. Okay. So incorrect on all my friends. I was terribly well, wrong, and no, I'm sorry. No, the single lightning lane though won't apply to the single, the lightning lane single pass will no longer. There will be no lightning lane single pass offerings at Animal Kingdom come right. July 24th. Flight of Passage. No. Really? Yeah, that will be a part of that. So, and then what happens is, is that within multi pass. They have different tiers, this so they're is much mucho confusing to me. <laughs> it's very confusing, um, but it, it's also confusing because you like learn a system and then you feel like you really got like a grasp on that system, and then the system changes some. But what's interesting is that they've removed the name Genie Plus. You still are paying for this service, but in some ways, the system looks similar to FastPass Plus, which is what we had obviously before Genie Plus. Now that was a complimentary service. This is a paid for service. So that's continuing on. As far as pay goes, we don't know specific amounts yet, what what this service will cost. I imagine that the pricing is not going to vary much from what it currently is costing for Genie Plus. So I think the only thing that is confusing to me about the pricing is that you can park hop a park hop off of whichever one you buy. They are you sure they're not doing like a multi park pass? I don't know because they're saying like as soon as you they didn't I, I didn't ever hear anybody clarify that. Yeah, the, this again. Bear with us because this information dropped yesterday. Yeah, Flight of Passage is a single pass attraction. Oh, I see. I read that it wasn't. But yeah, that's just that's par for the course with. There's no tier system at Animal Kingdom. That okay, okay, that makes sense. That's or where they, I got confused. Then. Yeah, so that's my bad. I'm sorry. This is. A lot of information. Well, we're learning for sure. I mean, that's yeah. part of it. But so so those attractions then Flight of Passage, Rise of the Resistance, Guardians of the Galaxy, Tron. And 
uh, and Seven, Seven Dwarfs. Dwarfs. Those are those are attractions that if you buy the single pass, um, I think you can select. You have to, to buy the single pass for those. I think you can select up to two of those. Okay. Yeah. For I don't know about that, day. but anyways, it's, it's so. Let me get back to this whole park hopping thing because this is where it gets confusing to me. So you can buy multi pass, mm-hmm. multi pass. You ever seen a uh, fifth element? No. Okay. <laughs> multi pass. Um, so you can buy multi pass. Say you're at Magic Kingdom, you book three attractions, one from tier one, two from tier two. Which, by the way, there are tiers for the attractions. Right. I won't. We're not going to list all of the attractions and all of right. the tiers. But you can imagine there are, there are like e ticket attractions and attractions that are um, higher sought out that are in tier one. Right. Like Space Mountain, Thunder Mountain. Tiana's. Tiana's, which is so interesting that that's not going to be a single pass. Right. But anyways, it, every park has different tiers except for Animal Kingdom. Right. And you're only allowed to select a certain number of tier ones. Take one from tier one. Right. Two from the other ones, yeah. tier two. And when I say you're only allowed to select those, I mean that you're only allowed to pre-select those. And you can pre-select them three days out. We're just like throwing information at you guys right now. Yeah. Because there's no way to explain it otherwise. Right, which is fine. I mean, it, it, it's something that needs to be discussed. Unless you're staying on property, then you can book seven days out from the beginning of your stay. Correct. Through all of your stay. Correct. Which for 14 days. That in and of itself can get real complicated. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so... But then as soon as you use one of them... Correct. Then you can book from any correct tier which is a big win because before you could stack your lightning lanes with genie plus but ultimately you were only really ever able to have two at one time i've had three. Oh, oh because you waited so long yeah i would like book in first thing in the morning right and like just wait to go to the park right like right right but if you're o'clock. if this is like the average guest who's really just like like yeah. cycling through them um this is going to be a win for you because you are not, you don't have to utilize them at specific times. Your pre selections. You do. Oh, you have a time window. Right. But it doesn't expire. Right, right, right. Right. So, yeah, this is just gets so complicated. So, the, bear only, with us. the only times that ever expire are virtual queues for Tron. You have an hour. Right. After your time expires. Right. After your window. And, that's it. Just Tron. Okay. But with Lightning Lanes, if you book it for 9 o'clock in the morning from 9 to 10, mm-hmm. you can go at 10 o'clock at night. Right, right, right. No big deal. Right, right, right. So the way that you can you used to be able to stack things was I would book a 9 o'clock, a 10 o'clock. Or like I would book a 9 o'clock, and then once 10 o'clock rolls around, I'd book a 10 o'clock. Yeah. Or 120 minutes or whatever it was. Um, And so I could book up three of them or however many I wanted, really. But... I could book up three of them and then go to the park and use those three. Right. So. It is nice that people are going to be able to pre-select because this is eliminating the need to wake up by seven o'clock in the morning and start booking your lightning lane attractions. Except for three days out, you'll have to do that. Right. Right. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, that's a little bit easier than while you're on vacation. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So that is a win for sure. Um, and I, I do like that you can make pre-selections like i yeah, like that nice. yeah you're not battling the day of crowd with everything where i think what disney is hoping for with this change in their system is that like when you wake up at 7 a.m if let's say you're going to hollywood studios right now you want to ride slinky dog dash by the time that you're able to get into the system sometimes you're not booking slinky dog until 4 p.m right so then you're holding on to that lightning lane and you've got to hold on to it for the entire day and you're only working on one other lightning lane that you right. can use. So I, I I do think that the intention there is to make this a better system. Yeah. It's unfortunate that like this is constantly changing and like we're we are having to learn about it so that we could regurgitate information to you all and and stay tuned on this as well because I think what would be nice is that maybe like Tim and I can plan a day where we go to the park together yeah. and just utilize the system. Yeah. See what it's like. I'm sure that you'll want to do that for the vlog. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll come back and report on that with the podcast as well. Yeah. Um, because the, it's new. The other thing that should be mentioned is that this whole system starts on July 24th. Do I got that date right? July yeah. 24th? Yeah. The system starts on July 24th. Right. You cannot book three days before July 24th. Right. 
you will start booking for July 24th, 25th, and 26th. Right. Or if you're staying seven days out from the 24th, you can book right. seven days out for your 14-day vacation. Right, right. Every day, you can book three. Yeah, we'll pick a day. And you can buy your individual, your single pass Yeah, for 14 days out, or seven days ahead of your 14-day vacation. <laughs> it's so cool. Right, a lot of numbers. Yeah, we, we will pick a day, though, and we'll, we'll try it out. We'll report back. If you guys have, like, specific questions about it, go ahead and drop those in the comments, and we'll, we'll filter through them and try to, like answer this figure it out when we do it yeah but we're figuring it out together hopefully this was inf like informational for you yeah um but like i said this information dropped yesterday and there's still questions i know specifically people who live in other countries had a lot of questions about when they can book and from what i understand as of right now and this all of this is subject to change but from what i understand you cannot book this if you're not in the united states right unless and, you use a travel agent correct so you'd have to book through a travel agent so that they could do it for you right um which that's going to be helpful for travel agents to be able to add this this um, system for people in advance now because as of right now they can't add Genie Plus to park tickets or help people with Genie Plus until the day of. Really? Yeah, you cannot add because my family's coming in town for a trip, and I asked our travel agent like, "Are we able to add Genie Plus to their park tickets ahead of time?" And she said, "No, not anymore." Strange because you can't add it to California ahead of right. time. Disneyland. So in in regards to Disneyland. Um, their system is not changing, only the name is changing. Right. Just Basically, the name. the name Genie Plus is going away. Yeah. Which never really fully made sense anyways. Right. Oh, man, I was so excited when they announced Genie. Yeah. I was like, this is going to be great. I can't wait to try it out. And then yeah. when it came, I was like, this is not good. <laughs> yeah. What did you guys do? I mean, really, like Genie was supposed to help plan your park day for you, and the recommendations that Genie would give would be like, They're like, go sit on a bench for a little bit. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't that do wasn't a real recommendation. But no, it's, but it was felt similar. Like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like, go watch It's Tough to Be a Bug. And I'm like, no. <laughs> They're like, maybe go eat lunch now. And I was like, no. <laughs> This, I'm here to do stuff. I'm not hungry right now. Yeah, I don't want food right now, Genie. Yeah, it's like, maybe make another reservation somewhere. <laughs> Go get a waffle. Oh, wait. Yeah. Not a waffle and chicken. Go get a chicken and waffle. <laughs> um. So stay tuned for more information on that. Yeah, I'm excited for it because it does feel like we're going back to Fast Pass Plus. Yeah, which we're it's not, but it feels like that. Fast Pass Plus with less yeah. pre-planning. I did want to address, um, we talked about it a couple weeks ago, and this is a very sensitive subject, so I, I want to approach this very cautiously. It's regarding DAS, oh, Disability okay. Access Service. Gotcha. Um, I do want to say that I feel empathy and sympathy for people who are struggling, who are not qualifying for it, and are frustrated by that. Right. Because I do know that there are circumstances and situations where people do need help, and with these new rules they're not necessarily qualifying for it. Right. And I'm empath empathetic towards that. Like I, I think like when we talked about it originally, we talked a lot about people who abuse the system and there are people that absolutely abuse the system. Yeah, That's why it changed. Right. Right. And I, I, I do think that that's a problem. Like nobody should be abusing a right. system that is set up for people who have actual disabilities. Um, but we did go through the process of enrolling and I felt like for people who still have questions about it, that do that will qualify. I wanted to address it and talk about it. So, uh, before you could enroll in the park, um, that is not an option anymore. You have to enroll online. Right. Even if you go to the park and you go to guest relations, they're going to basically, um, basically send you to the website or set you up with someone to chat with, to enroll into the system. Okay. Um, and so, uh, we did that ahead of one of our park trips and we were able to enroll into the system changes that have been made to the system is that i i think it was 60 days is how long like your registration lasted for before it expired uh before and so after 60 days you would have to just go up to guest relations again and renew obviously you can't go up to re guest relations to renew anymore you have to do it online but because they changed that they've um extended it out to 120 days right which is a big win like we do not have to renew again until like i think october um and so that is a change for sure. Um, and then also before, I think you could book up to six people in your, yeah. like in your booking party for the disability access service. Now it's, um, we're, we're referring to DAS. Now it's only four. Four direct family members. Yeah. F four people in your party. Like, 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 let's say I went to the park with Ethan and two friends. Yeah. And it was just the four of us. We could book the together 
Just oh, okay. The, but it only can be four of us. Okay. I thought it was I thought it was uh just direct family members unless you were staying at a resort with I have not heard that. Okay. That's yeah. good to know. Yeah, so but only four people from your party can go on that attraction with the person who is qualified for Right. DAS. And the person who qualifies has to ride the Correct. attraction. Correct. So basically three additional people. Right. Um and so like for example, we have a big family trip coming up. If if we are going to utilize the, the DAS system for for Ethan to be able to ride an attraction, only three people from our large party will be able to join him in terms of um utilizing that system. So what would happen is is once we book that DAS pass, the rest of the party would get into the standby queue and then assuming that the timing is correct, like and that's what the app does is basically says, you know, the wait time at Mine Train is thirty minutes. So the the family would go into the queue, the standby queue, and those that stayed back with Ethan would wait thirty minutes and then go right, through right. the lightning lane okay. and hopefully join together, which can happen because yeah. just full transparency, when we met up with you guys on Father's Day, you guys had gone through the standby queue. Yeah, We had immediately booked a DAS pass for Seven Doors because Ethan wanted to ride it. And we were able to time it where you guys had entered. We were able to go through the lightning lane and we like asked if we could stand to the side and we waited maybe like two minutes tops standing yeah. to the side to join with you guys. Okay. So that's how you would navigate that situation if you are planning a trip with a large party. Do me a favor. When you go on this big family trip, uh-huh. ask about it. I will ask about like specific because family members. Because I thought that if you were booked like a hotel right. with a larger party, you could add a larger party to it. I was told you can't. Okay. When I registered, I asked that question. Okay. I'll ask them about it, but I was yeah. told by, I was told by the cast member that that was not an option. But I'll clarify that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I thought I, that's I, what they said when they first released this news. Yeah, but I may have just. I'm learning. It. I'm learning a lot about it now, just because it's new. The other thing that's changed is, and this is very like minute, but it does make a difference. Um, once you've scanned into the attraction, and sometimes there's two scan points for attractions. What you used to do is or could do if there was another ride that you were wanting to ride after that is once you've scanned the second time, you could go in and book your next um, yeah. DAS pass. Now, once you've scanned in, whether it's the, there's only one scan point or two, um, you have to wait 10 minutes before you can, oh. book your, like the system won't let you. Okay. Like you have to ride the ride. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So that's very minor and, and minute, but it is a piece of information. That's it's pertinent. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, I will get clarity on that, but I'm I'm pretty sure that they were very like specific about saying that it could always only be four people in the party. Okay. So, um, yeah, it, I mean, if that is the case, and it is only ever four people in the party, it does complicate things a little bit. Yeah. Because if I'm like, for example, if like, what if my family was? What if we were more than four? What right. if we were a family of six? Family of six just happen to be a family. Yeah, of six. two people just. Again, you would just have to go, in, I guess, into the standby line. I don't know. I'll get clarity on that for sure. So, transitioning from that to... What was the next thing? Christmas. Cruising? Christmas. Christmas. The holidays. Holidays. It's halfway to the holidays. We got all kinds Christmas of announcements this week. starting now. <laughs> Christmas is starting in six months. <laughs> ah, yes. Six months. Not really, though. Less than six months. Yeah. Christmas Basically is starting. Basically August. <laughs> no, that's when Halloween starts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Christmas. November 2nd. 1st. 2nd. <laughs> One of these days. I would say first, because that's when we start to get the Christmas decorations, the holiday decorations. Yeah. But because Halloween, the well, last not yeah. so scary is on Halloween. Right. Which is different than last year because. It was like November 2nd last year because it was a weekend. Right. Yeah. So we should, on November 1st, see the Christmas tree at yeah. Magic Kingdom. See something at least. I hope so. Yeah. I love when that tree goes up. It's it, good. It just, and then nice. the music starts playing. Yeah. I love it so much. Snow gets in your eyes. Uh, it's the and you best. go, get out of here. <laughs> no, I love Snoop. Yeah, um, <laughs> stop it. Don't say that about Snoop. Um, <laughs> so we did get all kinds of announcements this week. Uh, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is returning. And Jollywood Nights is returning, which I know Tim is. Yes. About. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm going to wear my Jollywood Nights opening year <laughs> shirt every day. There was something in there. Oh, so we're getting a, a line of merchandise for Ollie, who is like the mascot for Jollywood yeah. Nights. A lot of controversy around Ollie. Why? Because Disney released something saying that he was the first original character. Oh. Made for the parks yeah, in like and like Figment standing in the corner ten years and or whatever Figment's over there and Chuby's <laughs> like uh, yeah, what the hello heck? excuse me bro he's um, like literally right next to Ollie <laughs> Chuby's like chirp, 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 chirp. <laughs> well I love it and the merch like some of the merchandise has Happy Ollie Days on it yeah. and I love that so much some lug bags yeah but the the thing about Ollie that I love is that like when they presented this this week in the Disney Parks blog it was like. For those like it, it almost it, I don't I, it wasn't long term fans but it was like for those diehard like fans of Jollywood Nights or something like that and it's like there's been one the second year <laughs> it was like it was almost like presented like it was supposed to bring like this nostalgia yeah oh get ready to li- relive your ch- last year <laughs> your childhood it was so funny the way it was worded it was truly like it said something like for those. Longtime fans of Jollywood Nights. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, I'm excited. So changes that are coming with Jollywood Nights, more characters. Yes. Which for me, I... Did you see the list of the characters? I did not. I'll find it while you're talking. So yeah. I experienced Jollywood Nights the first night that it ever happened. Um, and, and even since that night, more characters were added. I know that um, also another thing that's being added while we, we get the full list of characters that are being added, but... Um, there's now going to be an ice skating show in front of the Chinese theater, which I think is a big win. The be- skating spectacular. Yeah. So that, that show is going to be fantastic. One, because ice skating in the holidays, they just go hand in hand. But two, there was, um, uh, it's also interesting because that's going to be an outdoors experience. Yeah. And we still are in sort of rainy season when this happens. Yeah. So, so that, that means that some of them we canceled. Right. But also... Um, that space in front of the Chinese theater, like n- no one was really, there was no, 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 nothing was being utilized in that space during Jollywood nights before. Right. So that just adds another entertainment offering. I'm excited. I'm pumped Except to have jingle bells, jingle bam. Right, right, right. After at the end of the evening. Yeah. Yeah. I am, I'm pumped to have this back. I'm excited to experience it again. Um, because I, I have not gone since the first night and the first night, you know, there were a lot of just adjustments that they made after that first evening. Yeah. Um, did you find the characters by chance? Yeah, it was uh, Bo Peep, Lotso, Baloo, and King Louie from Tailspin. Yeah. See, none of those really excite me that much. Okay. Yeah. Move to Jeep. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> You're not I excited mean, about Lotso? Smells like strawberries. No, I don't like Lotso. Well, he's a bad guy. Yeah. What about here? Baloo and King Louie yeah, from that's Tailspin? Cool. Tailspin, sure. Um, Bo Peep. Cool. All right. Here's the thing that I, I mean, I, I'm excited. Fade some Ferb? I mean, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> Who else was there? <laughs> there was like people that got added after the first night, like Jiminy Cricket. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Geppetto. Geppetto doing his Wasn't like... Duffy, Santa Duffy there? Yeah. 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 So those things are cool, but um, I I don't know. I Here's the thing that, I, I'm again, I'm very excited. I, I really, I, I, I can't say that I really enjoyed my first night of Jollywood Nights. Because I was there and I was with friends and it just got complicated. There were different priorities and it was just kind of a mess. And also like when you go to an event for the first time. You don't know where to go. No. You have no idea what to do. You know what I did? Yeah. You guys had fun stuff. I know. And it was so good. We saw you at the end of the night at ABC commissary and the joy that was like in you and Jen's and our friends faces. I was like. I had FOMO. Yeah. I had such bad FOMO. Oh man, we were we were you were just hanging out, hooting and hollering. <laughs> it was so good. And then we went again, and it was so good again. You guys had so much fun, and I was I was a bit jealous for yeah. sure. But if I could do it all over again, I would basically just tell the people that I was with, like, okay, like if that's what your priority is, then you go do that, and I'm going to go do yeah. it. Which I should have done from the beginning of the night because there was a moment where I got left on Sunset Boulevard. It was not a fun experience, mm. and at that moment, I should have said. This Going is, to Tim. This, this, this is how time. things are changing. Yeah. I tried for a second, but anyways. Um, people please or Nick comes out to play sometimes. And it's, so anyways, I'm excited that Jollywood's coming back. But here's one thing that jo- they didn't announce but about Jollywood that I wish was happening. I want Life Day celebrations in Batu. Yeah. I want fireworks too. Yeah. But Life Day. Come on. Yeah. Like do something. 
Give me give me a meet and greet with Chewbacca in a robe. Yeah, that's all you got to do. Give him an orb. Yes, that would be so good. Hang out. Some specialty drinks at Oga's. Yeah. Why uh, not? Even a mug. Yeah. Where is it at? You could be selling merchandise. Such a Disney. I, they do sell Life Day merch. I know. They like, could be doing a better job of it. Well, but nobody ever buys it. Because there's not a meet and greet. Right. Because they don't do Imagine anything Imagine meeting Day. Chewbacca wearing one of those Life Day robes that I bought for $6. A dream. With, with your $50 life. robe that I, I would bought wear the robe. for $6. I would wear the robe to Jollywood Nights. Yeah. Yeah. You I bought would, like four of them. You'd bring in a whole Star Wars crowd for it. Yeah. You'd bring in Tim. Me? I'd go I mean, I'm going regardless. I haven't but. seen the Star Wars special, have you? Yeah. Uh, I got to watch it. Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> no, no, that's why I got to watch it. I love that sort of stuff. Anyways. I'm on episode four right now. I need you to step it up and watch Acolyte. Stop watching the movies and Sorry. catch up to Acolyte. I watched, uh, I got to see, hello there. Nice. Hello, General Kenobi. <laughs> With the two fingers. <laughs> Listen. Oh, yeah, his change of his thing. Yeah. Yeah, he changed it up because this... he's like, oh, yeah, this guy fights differently. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to... Go in left-handed or whatever. More intense. The the latest episode of Acolyte, some of the best lightsaber dueling I've ever seen. Oh yeah, good. Because the ones in the uh, prequels, when when uh, when Anakin was fighting Dooku, I was like, man, Dooku, (laughs) or no, it was it was it was uh, Mace Windu and Palpatine. Mm. I was like, these are some old men listen when, fighting when real that, slowly when that scene happens i have always been flabbergasted as to how fast palpatine kills some of those jedi they just stand there and take it yeah and it makes me mad well, like no it's it's unacceptable like i think his name's kit fisto he's yeah. the green kit li- fisto fisto the guy the green guy with like the long ears yeah he was always one of my favorite Jedi because i had a like action figure of him as a kid and i always just like playing with it yeah he didn't do anything. He was just like, oh, dead no. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, it's wild. And then yeah, well, like, he was surprised. He's like, whoa, look at that old man flipping around. Jump. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when you see Yoda do a flip for the first time, you're like, whoa, look at that guy. No, nah, they were too surprised. They could have fought back more. Just wait. Just wait until you watch this. But time. also, they could have been overcome with the dark side. Like, you know how they're always like, they feel a heaviness when the yeah. dark side approaches? I'm telling and you. And then Palpatine just like, <laughs> watch, squirts out some dark side of her. Watch this next one. Okay. Of the acolyte, because these the Jedi that were there, they were overcome by the dark side. They got, I mean, based on the end of episode three. Yeah, they got fooshed. Yeah. So they, for sure, were feeling it, but they still at least fought some. Okay. I'll watch. Yeah. There's Jollywood Nights. I, I just wish we had Life Day. Yeah. It'll happen one day. Yeah. We should have our own Life Day. Okay. <laughs> we have like a little meetup. We should make an event. Yeah. That they do tracks, with lightsabers things. That tracks Life Day. Like, they don't shut down that lightsaber, lightsaber thing. I right? don't think we're qualified. You've never even seen the special. We're not qualified. No, no, I'm not saying, like, the... I could watch the special. But I'm like, I'm saying somebody could do that. Yeah. Because I'm the, surprised they don't. The lightsaber meetups are not official, right? No. They're just like a Facebook, Facebook, no. <laughs> Facebook group that, like, shows up. With I'm lightsaber. truly shocked that, like, some, like, diehard Star Wars fans have not done their own. Yeah. I'm sure they exist outside somewhere, but at the parks. Yeah. Jollywood night, day four. <laughs> Life day. Life day. <laughs> Make it happen. Somebody make a Facebook group. <laughs> Get people together. Can you wear robes? Yeah. You can? Not. To the park? Yeah. I don't know. People wear robes. Yeah, they wear like cloaks and stuff. Yeah. Star Wars. Hmm. Do it. Wear one of those red robes, a snuggy. Game on. Yeah, that'd be so comfy. Yeah. It would have to be on a cooler evening. Yeah. So maybe around. not day four. Yeah, wait till like end of November. December. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. Um. So Jollywood Nights returning. The, Quick info on dates for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and Jollywood Nights. The first Jollywood Nights is November 9th, and it will run through December 21st. There are more dates this year. I think there were only 10 days last year. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know about that, but... I think there's like 15 now. So, that's exciting. Um, You'll be able to purchase tickets for Jollywood Nights or Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party uh, starting July 2nd. And that is, so if you're listening to this on Monday, tomorrow, if you're staying at a Disney resort or July 10th for everybody else. Okay. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Um, it will run from November 8th to December 20th. It's always interesting to me that they don't do Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party like closer to actual Christmas, but. I mean sure. like, well, Santa's got to go get ready. True. Can't be in a parade. True few days before christmas why 
He's got to get ready. He's got to get Rudolph all uh, proteined up. Protein up. He's got to get some some pre workout going. <laughs> but he is on the in the parade. Yeah, up until the twentieth. No. Oh, and then in, in the park. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Just like normal time. Yeah. So I don't. Let, let, let me see if I <clears throat> was I wrong in thinking that at some point in time, the goofy. Santa showed up because Santa was out doing Christmas stuff. I like don't after know. Christmas, Goofy Santa was there. I'm not sure. Okay, I know that. Like on Christmas Day, we watch the Christmas parade from our house, and Santa's on the. Yeah, television. he's done during the day. He's, he just goes during yeah. night. So, what does Santa do when he's flown around the world? He goes, he goes to, to Disney, Disney World. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> um. Yeah, the treasure, it, the adventure, adventure. <laughs> They have too many cruise ships, though. There's just all kinds of information. Um, so, and then last but not least, happy holidays to oh, everybody. Yeah. Last Did... but not least, we're going to, oh, also, quick note, sorry, on the holiday stuff. Uh, ticket prices for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party starting at 169 all the way up to 219 per ticket. <laughs> I'm sorry. For one night. I would never do that. Just get some cookies. You better get sack up on $200 worth of cookies. $219. Per person. That's almost a thousand dollars for my family to go. Yeah. No. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. That's what's gonna stop them from raising the prices. Let people stop going. Yeah. So Yeah, but that's the thing is that they always sell out. So um it just it is definitely gonna give the prices for Jollywood. Too? I'm about to. Oh, okay, sorry. There are gonna be annual pass holder and uh D V C discounts. 10, 10 Usually it's ten dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Instead of two nineteen, it's two oh nine. Um and then for Dollywood Nights, you've got one fifty nine to one seventy nine. I will say that all those although those prices are steep for both events, I feel like at least they're appropriately priced in terms of what is offered at the events. Right. Like Jollywood Nights should cost less than Mickey's Very Merry Christmas right. Party. And that was the same as last year, but there were nights where it was like similarly priced. Right. And that's I think a little much. Shouldn't be doing that. No. So, and there's just $10 discounts for annual pass holders and DVCs for select nights for those as well. So, yeah. there you go. Now, Disney Adventure. All kinds of information was released today. Uh, we got some information on lands coming to the um, Disney Adventure, which is Disney's newest cruise ship. So, well, a little precursor to this. Yeah, please. There was a cruise ship that was being built for another company. Mm-hmm. And then they never finished it. They ran out of money. And Disney's like, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll let, me, take... let me get that. Let me get that like ninety percent built cruise ship. Yeah. And so they bought it. They bought this ninety percent built cruise ship, and then just started, you know, decorating it basically. Right. And so they've got this. It's big too. It's bigger than any cruise ship they have. Yeah. It's... And it's laid out way different than any other cruise ship they have. It's wild because we were reading about it before we started recording and. I won't go into all the specific details, but I do want to talk about like some of the um, specific areas coming to the ship. We've got San Francisco Street. Yeah. We've got Marvel Landing. We've got Toy Story Place, which is supposed to have restaurants and play areas. Right. Which sounds interesting that they're saying restaurants. Does that mean like, you know, like Flo's VA Cafe or whatever up on the Fantasy? I would imagine so. Like, it, so when I, I have cruised on Royal Caribbean before. Yeah. And I remember, it was a long time ago, but I remember there being sort of a central corridor and there were different restaurants. So this wasn't the top deck restaurants. These were restaurants in that area, almost like the bars are on a lot of, like, for example, the Disney Wish. There's a lot of bars kind of spread out throughout the middle of the ship. Yeah. I'd imagine those being like restaurants. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because this ship is going to be a lot bigger than any of the other ones. So we've got um, Toy Story Place, Marvel Landing. We've got Town Square. Wayfinder Bay is a Moana-themed pool Pool. area outside. It's just, I mean... It sounds interesting. Yeah, it definitely sounds interesting. Based on what we gathered from what we were reading, there's going to be like sort of attractions in some of these areas. It sounds like this ship is just going to be a floating mini theme park. Without like... Not necessarily rides. There's not going to be like a dark ride or like a right, roller right, coaster right. or something like that. Right. But there's like things to do in all these places. But the sky's the limit. Like Disney Cruise Line can absolutely do a mini coaster on a ship one day. Yeah. Maybe not a coaster. Royal Caribbean did it. Yeah. Or Carnival. I think it was Royal Caribbean. It was Carnival. Okay. 
<laughs> Maybe. I know Royal Caribbean's really upped their game in what they've been putting on the ships as well. Yeah. So I think it was because I I remember seeing Shaq sitting on okay the thing and Shaq's the, the party meister or whatever it is for yeah carnival. I'm excited. I think that like it sounds like this ship. It, there's going to be a whole experience for this ship. I, I say I'm excited. I have no idea when I'd make it onto this ship. Right, it's going to be only mostly, sailing out of Asia. Yeah, mostly international. Will it ever come to the states? They have not announced anything about that. Right. Well, we've got so much going on here with our ships in the states. Yeah, we've got the treasure coming at the end of the year. So, um, and it sounds really cool. After that, yeah. It sounds very cool, but I don't know. Like it's it, it's going to be something that I experience anytime soon. So maybe one day we can go. Yeah. <laughs> Destiny El, Destiny Del Baccio that from tracks high internationally. What Destiny and Del Baccio from high school? What's that? That's the Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> um, I watched Sensational again last night at Universal, and you need to go. All right, I'll go. Um, you convinced me. <laughs> I also was talking about this with um some of the creators at during the hop. When do you think Universal will get into the cruise like cruise line space? I don't know. It's a good I, question. I think they would. They it would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Imagine be, Jaws. I bet you somebody is thinking this. Imagine Jaws like a Jaws theme pool. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> it'd be great. Terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> there would be so much opportunity there, though. Like, yeah. Universal would have like such a good time with it. But I, at one point, e. I think themed restaurant. Yeah. I think Shrek themed restaurant. Can you imagine putting like Reese's pieces on like? All the dessert at the E.T. themed restaurant. Yeah. Fantastic. Be really good. Shrek Swamp. Yeah. So many opportunities. <clears throat> <There's> Troll waffles. <laughs> yeah. That's good. It could be great. Yeah. We were talking about it. I was talking about it. Actually, I was talking about it with some of the people from Universal, too. I was like, hey. <laughs> get on it. Do like, they're going to do anything. Yeah. yeah. They're like, yeah, sure. I'll get right They're like, that. let's get my hammer. <laughs> build a sh- cruise ship. I think it'd be a lot of fun. I will say, Universal, I'm so proud of them. They're really crushing it right now. Sensational is sensational <laughs> oh sensational sensational but the drones didn't work last night yeah. probably the wind it was kind of a rainy day wasn't it maybe it wasn't dry enough i guess I so. that yeah i'm sure that it's obviously for safety reasons but yeah anyways well i don't i'm not i don't think we need to spend a lot of time on the adventure because i don't think it's like high up on the places no. of people no, 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 no. but it's it's exciting to read about and Plus i think we don't know a lot about it right i think it's gonna be a lot of fun and stuff but we did see pictures of the rooms. The rooms kind of look like hotel rooms. Yeah. But with a little bit of a Disney cruise line feel yeah. to them. Um, I'm excited. I am excited to go get ready for my cruise and have a good time. Yeah. And uh, next week we will be reporting, like I said, probably from another location. Possibly. So stay tuned. We'll see. TBD. It'll probably happen. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. We've got a lot of fun ahead of us. Like I said, the next couple of weeks, I am a busy man and have lots of fun experiences on the horizon. Um, but I'm also tired. Yeah. <laughs> Go pack. Let's do it. All right. Thank you for tracking with us. See you. <laughs>